Good morning and welcome to Trans West Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. I'm Brian Moritz. Today I'm going to be walking around a 2022 Newmar Superstar 4059. So unfortunately this unit is sold. It will be delivering to its new owner here pretty quickly. But we wanted to get it out there. We have officially opened up orders for the 2023 models of the Newmar Superstar and Newmar Supreme Air. So after this video, if you have any questions or want to talk about placing an order, please feel free to call me. But we're going to walk around the outside first, then head inside. Let's start by talking about our first option, which is the Gerard Nova awnings. Now with the Gerard Nova awnings, you get a full length patio awning. It's actually divided up into two awnings that can be controlled individually. So right here's the separation just about in the middle. Now those are power extend, power retract. They do have a built-in wind sensor. We might actually get to see it work here today. We'll see. Um, and then they also have the LED light strip built in underneath just from, for some nice lighting on your patio. Now, another option that this coach has is going to be the window awning. Now, these are just manual awnings, and I'll show you how those work. For those of you who do not know. So when you get this, you get a nice little pull rod here reach up and go ahead and retract them. And then when you want them out, pull down on the loop and then they just hook onto these little cleats on the side of the motorhome to keep them in place. So they're very easy to extend or retract. You have just do have to be just a little bit tall in order to get to them. But all those awnings are gonna do is keep the sun from beating into the motorhome, help keep you cool during the summer. Now behind that awning, we do, do have dual pane tinted windows all the way around this motorhome. The vast majority of them are storm windows and do open. Next thing I want to talk about is paint. So this is not a standard Numar paint scheme. This is a fully custom paint scheme for the customer who ordered this coach. Um, it's pretty cool to show you just because we can kind of do whatever we want in terms of colors on these motorhomes. If you have an idea, we'll do our best to make it work for you. Start by talking about the storage underneath. Really big compartment here. Now under here, we're also gonna see some low point drains for our hot water lines, auxiliary, auxiliary air compressor here, and then a fresh water spigot down below. Next, just more storage. Moving back behind the entry door, another really big storage compartment. Now up on that left side, we're gonna see some wiring, some electronic stuff. Um, that's actually gonna be all of our satellite wiring right there underneath the coach. Easy to access if you ever needed to. Next compartment under the big flip up door, We've got this Samsung 43 inch HD TV with the Bose 900 soundbar down below. Now, a couple other things we got going on in this bay. First, we've got one 110 volt outlet, two 12 volt USBs. Over down to the right side, two more 110 volt outlets. Right here, we've got a freshwater drain. So directly behind this is gonna be our 150 gallon freshwater tank. And then the Bose audio source switch. So basically this gives us the option to choose our audio source for this Bose soundbar. So we can run it off of this TV or we can switch it to the dash radio if we want to have radio out here um, coming from the dash. We can also just set up our phone to Bluetooth to that Bose soundbar if that makes your life a little bit easier. Moving backward just a little bit, another storage compartment here. Now this one does have the option for the manual sliding tray. Now with every Newmar Superstar, you're going to get a nice heavy hitch. It's gonna come with a two inch ball, as well as a two and five sixteenths. You're also gonna get a reducer from a two inch, to a, or from a three inch to a two inch hitch. And then if you get the option for the central vacuum system, you're also gonna get that tool kit. Now, also in this bay, we have two more open 110 volt outlets. This is just all for auxiliary power while you're outside. If you need to 
power source. They wanted to give you plenty of them. And then in the back, full pass-through bay down below. Central vacuum system. This is where we're going to clean our bags, change our filters. We can also plug a hose in directly to that central vac, do stuff like vacuum out our tow car, whatever you need. Miss this. So, the new Mars Superstar comes with this great opening rear cap and a very long storage bay underneath here. This would be a perfect place to put like a collapsible ladder. A couple different options that you could do with that. And then we've got the trays up here. Awesome place for a couple extra, you know, quarts of oil, some tools, that kind of stuff. Newmar has thought of it all to make as much storage possible in the Super C motorhome. Coming around to the driver's side, we're just going to start by looking at our big pass-through bay again. Lots of storage underneath there. Moving forward, a little bit of storage for your gray and black tank hose. And next, we've got the actual water bay. So Newmar, I think, does probably the best job in making their water bays very clean, concise, easy to, uh, easy, easy to understand what you're looking at. So obviously right here, hot and cold exterior shower, hot and cold low point drains for when it's time to winterize your coach, whole house water filter. Now we winterize these coaches. When you come to pick it up, this filter will be installed in the canister. Water pump on and off, tank fill valve, sewage wrench, that's just a sanitization valve for your black tank, and then gray and black tank open. So instead of having your old cool, uh, manual pulls, you just have two switches to open your gray and black tank valves. Water inlet hose right here. It is a manual extend power retract, so push the button and it sucks itself back in there. And then you're winterizing too. So when it's time to winterize, all you have to do is drain all of your water and then put this tube down into a bottle of antifreeze, turn on your water pump, and it'll suck antifreeze through the entire coach. There's a little bit more to it than that, but that's the general idea of how to winterize this coach. Moving forward, Cummins owning quiet diesel 8,000 watt generator. That is standard. Now that it is gonna pull directly off of your 100 gallons of diesel fuel that the chassis is with. Next, we've got our eight six volt AGM house batteries on a tray. Tray is very easy to extend or retract. There's two manual or two pins here, just because it's a heavy tray, you don't want it sliding around. But lift up on the latch, pull it out to you. Makes life a lot easier if you're the kind to of change your batteries out on your own to be able to pull them to you rather than trying to slide a 50 pound battery back that way. Way, always make sure safety. All right, so coming up here, we've got the Oasis Chinook dual loop system. That is going to be your heat as well as the on-demand hot water for this motorhome. Now behind that, we've got this big HWH hydraulic pump also on a tray. So if you're ever working on that, you can pull it out to you. Now this HWH pump is gonna run our step and our hydraulic levelers. And then last but not least, in terms of storage on the outside, we've got our power bay. So we've got a 50 amp power cord. It's a 50 foot cord. Again, manual extend, and then push the button for a power retract. We put a little cut through there so that we can still close and lock the door without having to, uh, or while we have this thing hooked up. Right next to that, we've got the Victron 3000 watt inverter. Now that inverter is what's gonna supply us 110 volt power when we're out boondocking. So basically it'll take the 12 volt power from the batteries convert it to 110 volt to run things like our refrigerator, TV, outlets, that kind of stuff. All right, so up in the front here, we've got one of our two 50 gallon diesel fuel tanks. Okay, so we have a dual side fuel fill. I'll show you the other one on the other side. But basically you have a 50 gallon tank here, a 50 gallon tank on the other side. There is a transfer line in between, so you do have the ability to fill it from one side. I would recommend filling both sides. It'll go a lot faster and smoother. 
side view cameras. Now this coach actually is equipped with the 360 degree camera. So we've got one here, one right up top in the middle, and then one on the front and one on the back. It's gonna give us the bird's eye view. We'll talk about it more when I can actually show it to you in the cab. Now the Numar Superstar is built on the Freightliner M2 106 chassis. It is powered by a Cummins L9, an 8.9 liter Cummins, which produces 360 horsepower, 1,150 foot-pounds of torque. It's big and beautiful up there. Now this is what people really like about Super C's. One, you get a better towing capacity. Two, we actually have frame rails and engines, some barrier between us, and if we were to get into an accident, whatever we're gonna hit, just for added safety. Now, you also have access you also have access to all your maintenance items. So you got your fuel water separator here, uh, power steering fluid, engine oil dipstick, engine oil fill up on top of the motor. So it just makes a life a lot easier. You can also take it to more service facilities. There's a lot of Freightliner service facilities that cannot handle class A's, but pretty much everyone can handle a standard M2 106 chassis. I wanna just do that again, just so everyone knows. This is a gas prop assisted hood. So I don't have to hold on to it or worry about it ripping my arm off as I'm trying to close the hood. It's a great thing that Freightliner does. All right, so I said I'd show you on the other side, but this is the other side fuel fill. So being that this has dual side fuel fill and it's a Freightliner M2 106 chassis, you could literally pull it into the truck stops and they have dual side fuel fill with the bigger nozzles, the high flow nozzles, to fill up a lot faster than what you're gonna be able to do at your normal uh, gas stations. So before we go inside, let's talk about this. The entry handle here, we do have a code. Now when we punch in that code, it will unlock, we can unlock our entry door as well as our bay doors. We can also hold the button here and it'll lock everything. So it's gonna lock the entry door and all of our bay doors at one time. That's a great feature that the new Mars Superstar has is auto or uh, power locking bay doors. Something you don't see on Super C's very often. Notice when I open that door, the extension of the HWH hydraulic triple step, that's gonna run off of that big hydraulic pump we mentioned on the other side. Jody, I'm gonna let you go in first. So as Jody goes in here, I do have our slides completely closed up, so you're gonna see this in travel mode. Now, I'm gonna start up front in the cab here. If, with my slides completely closed, you still can get through here, no problem. I can access my half bath. So I can go in here, close the door. So I have access to a toilet while I'm in transit. I can also access my refrigerator as well as my freezer. And then in my mind, most importantly, my 72 by 80 king bed is still fully functional. So up here, we've got all of our controls for our coach. Now this is one of my favorites that Numar does. They actually put a step cover over the step well here. So it comes out, goes up, and goes flush. So those of you who are gonna be traveling with kids, grandkids, dogs, cats, hamsters, ferrets, whatever, you actually have something to cover those steps. So you don't have to worry about someone, you know, getting hit by, or you hitting a bump, and someone gets off balance and falls down in the step. It is uh, load bearing, you can stand on it, it's not gonna hurt you. And it is power, so just push the button and out it goes. So while we're up here, we'll talk about some of these uh, switches and stuff. So over here we've got our battery disconnect switch that is going to take or completely kill our house batteries so that we're not draining power while this coach is sitting in storage. Next, our exterior lights. Those are going to be our security lights. And then exterior step. That's going to keep the step from extending and retracting, retracting every time we open the door. Okay, we have a question. This one, okay, so the question we have right now is this new or used? This is a new 2022. It is sale pending. It was a special order for a customer, but I am taking orders for 2023s. If you want to, I will display my phone number at the end of this call and uh, you can give me a call. We could talk about that. 
All right, so next switch we got here, block heater on and off. So that's gonna be if it is a big diesel engine. So if it's cold outside, you wanna pop that block heater on, especially if you're gonna be moving the next day, it's better to have all those fluids warmed up rather than them sitting there congealed in the bottom of the engine. Entry door lock and unlock, so power doors or power locks on the entry door. Baggage door lock and unlock, so we can do it from here or that keypad outside. The step cover switch, an HWH master reset. So that's that big hydraulic pump I showed you over on the passenger side. If for some reason it ever faulted, all we have to do is hold this switch for five seconds. It'll do a complete system reset and hopefully take care of the issue. Next, we've got our slide out switches. So off door side, door side. I just put those slides out. We'll go over that in just a little bit. HWH computerized leveling. So again, from that hydraulic pump down below, it's gonna be a four point leveling system. All I have to do when I get to my uh, campsite is pull in, stop, walk back here, hit auto level. It's gonna drop all the air out of the airbags as well as drop those four leveling jacks. When it's time to go, do it the opposite way, auto store, brings all your jacks up and you're on the road. Next, we've got the monitor panel here. So we can look at our tank levels as well as battery levels. So right now I'm showing 55 gallons of fresh water, 65 gallons of gray, or 65% and 0% black. We can turn our water pump on and off as well as fill the tank from here. HVAC, that's gonna be our heating, ventilation, and air conditioning. So from here, I can set what temperature I want it inside the coach. I can set where that uh, heat or AC is coming from. Now from the factory, we come standard with two 15,000 BTU air conditionings with heat pumps. So we actually have two possible heat sources, the Chinook or the Oasis Chinook system that I showed down below, or the air conditionings on the roof have heat strips inside of them as well. It is in zone, so living room and bedroom front and back. And then last but not least, I can set my generator settings. So this coach is equipped with auto gen start. Basically what that's gonna do is we set it up to parameters that we think it needs to start. So let's just say we want it to start when our batteries hit 12.2 volts, when they're getting a little low. The generator will automatically come on, run for a preset, uh, preset amount of time and then shut back off. Do have another question? All right, we well, got another question. Is this a four season coach? This is, okay. So the question is, is this a four season coach? So the answer is yes. You can absolutely use it all, week, all year long. Um, there are certain measures that you need to take if you're gonna be out there in the winter. Uh, you have to make sure your heating's on. You have to, there's just certain things you need to do, but yes, you can absolutely take this coach out in the winter. Coming back over here, we've got our controls for our Gerard awnings. So there's three ways to control these. One is right here. There's also a remote, and then there's two more controllers on the outside. All we're gonna do, I want to retract both awnings right now, and I'm gonna go to zero, which is both of them, hit in, and they're coming in. You can't see them, but they're on the outside. We can also turn on that LED light strip from here, as well as lock and unlock them just for extra safety. Next is our touchpad for our Victron 3000 or 2800 watt inverter. I'm sorry on the outside. I said 3000 watt. It's a 2800 watt inverter But this is the control for it right here Now it's just gonna tell us right now that I have the generator running. It's bulk charging um, It gives us the time But really what it's gonna do is tell us where our power is coming from and where it's going to how many amps We're putting in, or how many watts we're putting out versus how many we're taking in now that you're gonna be able to look at this screen when we're on the generator when we're uh, plugged into shore power or when you're just using your batteries, they'll tell you what your battery level is and how long you can run for. Next one, power control monitoring. All this is gonna do is tell us where our power is coming from um, and how much of it we're getting. We can also look at things like what is powered right now. So since I'm running the generator, I can run the water heater, I can run the block heater, all, both of my air conditionings, just a good way to know what you're capable of doing. And then last but not least, this is the control panel for our Oasis system. So that is our on demand hot water as well as heat. So we have three different ways we can run this. Burner, by turning that on, we're gonna be burning diesel fuel or AC1, AC2. So AC1 is one 900 watt electric element inside of that uh, Oasis system. AC2 is two 900 watt elements inside of that Oasis system. Basically, if we're in a campground and have power available, we can run this off electricity and have hot water and on demand, or on demand hot water as well as heat. If we're out boondocking, we just run it off of diesel fuel. It burns very little fuel, very efficient system.
All right, so let's start getting the, the actual motor home here. We got one more slide to put out. Now, I didn't mention it on the outside, but uh, I mentioned we had 150 gallons of fresh water. We have 60 gallons of gray and 40 gallons of black. So gray is gonna be kind of your shower and sink water. Black's gonna be your sewage. Like I said earlier, two 15,000 BTU air conditionings. We have a couple different options for satellites, just depending on what you need. We can do uh, an in-motion satellite for direct TV or dish network. We can do a stationary for direct, a stationary for dish, or we can do dual, um, a stationary and in motion, just depending on what you need. All right, so let's start in the bathroom here. On the back side, we've got a 29 by 39 shower, 29 inches by 39 inches. Now there is a lock here so that you don't worry about slamming these shower doors around while you're in transit. Whoop. Shower, notice we do have the rain shower head as well as a sprayer wand. We've also got the fold down shower seat. And then this coach is equipped with the Aquamizer system. So basically what that is, is a recirculating valve. It's gonna take the cold water from the lines or cycle it back into the fresh water tank and pull hot water from that Oasis system up here so we have an instant hot shower. Up above the vanity here, we've got a huge medicine cabinet. Four 110 volt outlets just above the backsplash. Solid surface countertop, undermount sink. Two drawers, toothbrush, toothpaste, all that stuff. And then little cabinet for all your toiletries. Now on the side, we've got four more drawers. Now every drawer in this bathroom is going to be a soft closing. And then a really big hanging wardrobe. Now underneath this hanging wardrobe, there's actually a little spot, spot here. Great place where you could drop a laundry hamper down into that hole and have a place to keep all your dirty clothes. Now notice we also have a safe built into this wall that is an option we can put on any superstar. Next, the stacked washer and dryer. And then down below, another nice drawer. Now if it were me personally, I'd probably be keeping all my laundry stuff in here just because of where it's at. But it's up to you. And then just in front of the shower, we've got the macerating toilet as well as your emergency egress door. So there is a door back here. Now what's cool about this is there is a ladder built into the bottom of it. So if you ever had to get out of this motorhome, there's a way to get out safely without having to take the jump. The other cool thing about this is this door can be opened and closed as much as you want to. So let's just say you were at your house getting ready for a trip, didn't want to, uh, didn't want to or didn't have the space to put all your slides out. You could be loading clothes, you know, two people could be loading clothes from the back of this door into this big hanging wardrobe here. So just really good functionality. Now, in between the bathroom and the bedroom, we do have a pocket door. Slides into place, it does latch, so you don't have to worry about it sliding open on you. Well, <laughs> that's about my luck. There we go, all right. <laughs> so, the latch was a little stickier than I was planning on it to be. I'll get my technicians to take a look at that. So, coming into the master bedroom here, we've got the 72 by 80 king bed. Let me take this out and just store it somewhere. 72 by 80 king bed, really big storage down below underneath it. Drop that down. It is a gas prop assisted bed, so it's not very heavy to lift. Great storage up across the top with two 110 volt outlets in there as well. Now also on either side, we do have the little night table or medicine table, night table, nightstand. And there is one 110 volt outlet and two 12 volt USBs in each bed base as well. At the front of the bedroom, more hanging wardrobe space. We've got his and her hanging wardrobe. In the middle, we've got another 43 inch Samsung HD TV. Now every TV in this motorhome is going to be a smart TV. 
so we can connect them to Wi-Fi and use our streaming ser services, services as well as the satellite system. So Netflix, Hulu, uh, YouTube, whatever you use, we can download that app on the TV and just use that. We also have five more wardrobe drawers down below. This one's a little farther extending just because of the hanging wardrobe. Again, all soft clothes. And then an AV compartment for this TV. So if we wanna use our satellite that we have on this motorhome, we're gonna put our receiver right there. We could also do things like put a DVD player, Blu-ray player, whatever you're using nowadays, there's a space for it. It's all pre-wired to this TV. So we already have HDMI as well as cable in right there in that compartment. Moving forward, before we get to the kitchen, the 4059 floor plan is a bath and a half model. So this is our half bath. Now up in this compartment, a little bit of storage, but more importantly, we've got our circuit breakers and fuses for the entire coach. Now, this right here is gonna be the control for our wine guard traveler. So that's gonna turn on and off the satellite dish on the roof. More toiletry storage here. And then another medicine cabinet. I'll get out of the way. Plus a sink and a toilet. So it is a true half bath. Gives you the flexibility of if you don't want people using your bathroom, if you have guests over, they can use this bathroom without going into your bedroom. Let's talk about kitchen stuff next. We'll start with the Whirlpool 19.7 cubic foot residential refrigerator. Down below the refrigerator, we do have the, or the freezer on the freezer drawer with an ice maker and then water on the door. Moving into the actual kitchen, we've got first a countertop extension just to give you a little bit more prep space. Solid surface countertop, two bowl, undermount sink, stainless steel with a residential sprayer so that if you're doing dishes, you can actually pull this off, extend it, retract it. It does have a high power mode. Put those back on. And then to the left of that, we've got our two burner true induction cooktop. Now I say it in every one of my videos because I love it. Numar does go ahead and put cutting boards on the bottom side of the stove covers. So there's just one less thing that you have to worry about while you're packing for a trip. Now the two burner true induction cooktop is removable. So if I wanted to, I could take it out, unplug it just like that, take it outside, put it on my camp table and cook outside. When I'm done, come back in, plug it in. It's gonna yell at me, it's got power. And then you just have to kind of tuck this cord back here and then slide it back into place. Now I mentioned on the outside tons of outlets in those bays. Any one of those outlets could power this two burner true induction cooktop. You might need a little bit of an extension cord, but it gives you the flexibility to cook outside without having to take an additional grill or something. Up above, really good storage. That's all of our manuals and stuff for the chassis. More storage. Now that plug that you see right there, that is the plug for this 1.7 cubic foot Whirlpool microwave. It is, does double as a convection oven. Down below, big silverware drawer. Now right now we're gonna see all of our remotes for this motorhome. In every Newmar motorhome that comes from the factory, they do send touch up paint with it. Huge drawers going down the front side of this cabinet. And then four more, go through these kind of quickly. And then underneath, big cabinet here, does come with a trash can from Newmar. Something a lot of manufacturers seem to forget is people have trash and need a trash can. And then last but not least, talking about kitchen stuff, we've got the big rollout drawer pantry. So, Full extension drawers, they are adjustable up and down as needed. They do lock into place. So if I push it in, it's gonna kind of sit there and spring at me, push and it locks into place so you don't have to worry about your drawers coming flying open and throwing uh, green beans at you while you're driving down the road. Up 
Up above, above the dinette, we've got huge storage cabinets. Now, with those storage cabinets, in the middle, we get another AV compartment. So for our satellite, Blu-ray, Xbox, whatever you're taking with you, this is where we're gonna plug it in. And that's connected directly to the 50 inch Samsung HD TV in the living room. Now, as that's coming up on the televator, we do have the booth dinette, plenty of room here for four people. Now this booth will drop down and make a bed. Let that do its thing. I really love televators because we get that big window on the back side of it, lets in a lot of natural light when we're not watching TV and it keeps the living room looking really nice and concise. And then when we're ready, we're just gonna lose a little natural light, but we get a full size TV, 50 inch TV. Now over here on the off door side, we've got a hide a bed. So this is gonna be a true queen bed sleeper sofa. Pull it out, up above more storage. So in this one right now, you're gonna see the cover for the uh, windows, your privacy shade. Now these storage cabinets are incredibly deep. I mean, it, that's me touching the back, but they are a long ways in there. Every one of them is gonna be carpet lined. In fact, every storage cabinet in here is gonna be carpet lined to keep things from rattling while you're driving down the road. Three huge cabinets here on the off door side. You could use it as extra kitchen storage, living room storage, whatever. Um, it's a great flexible space. Now I mentioned on the outside, but every single one of these windows is a dual pane tinted window. Now to open them, grab the little knob here and just twist it and they open out. So these are really cool because you can have them open in a rainstorm, windstorm, whatever, without having to water, worry about water intrusion. Now every window in here also comes with a day, which is just kind of a solar shade, still lets light in, it's hard to see through, or it's hard to see in from the outside. And it also comes with a nightshade. Now this is your full privacy blackout shade. No one can see in, no one can see out. It's gonna block a ton of light. So if you're one of those people that sleeps during the day, you have the ability to black this coach out. And then up into the cab of the 2022 Newmar Superstar 4059. I know this is getting redundant, but it's important that you know how much storage there is in this Super C motorhome. Really big cabinets, more cabinets, and believe it or not, we got more cabinets on this side. Now, I wanna point this out. This is the owner support sticker that comes in every Newmar motorhome. So right here, we have a sticker, and this guy is the Newmar Superstar and Newmar Supreme Air brand specialist. Now, he is your go-to for help. If you're having an issue that you can't figure out, you just call one of these numbers for Bruce Bordner, 866-290-3855, and he will be able to help you through your issue. If he cannot help you, he will find someone who can. So Newmar does that. Newmar's customer support is probably the best in the business at this point, which is very important when you're buying these bigger RVs. So stepping down into the cab, 2022 Newmar Supreme, or Superstar 4059. I'm gonna go ahead and fire it up. It's gonna yell at me for just a second. All right, so it's standard M2106 cab. It's not super fancy. Um, Newmar's done some things to dress them up, but really this was built to be functional rather than fancy. So let's start over on the left side with our speed control stuff. So this is our cruise control. We have a master on and off switch on the top, a set, coast, resume, accelerate switch down below. So that's how we actually set the cruise control. Headlights on and off. And then down below, there's one more switch. All it does is change the intensity of the dash no big deal. Now, right here, we have the switch for our engine brake on and off. It is a two stage, so we have a high and a low. The marker light interruption, just to flash them. You know, if someone's trying, a trucker's trying to pass you or something, you can flash your lights at him, let him know that he's clear. Down below, touch pad for our six speed automatic transmission. That is an Allison 3200 TRV transmission. So drive, neutral, reverse, mode, switches us from economy into performance mode. Basically, it's gonna give us 300 RPMs more before it shifts. Uh, up and down, so if we wanna shift up and down, we have that ability as well. It helps when you're going up and down mountains. Power windows for the cab, mirror heat on and off, and then power door locks for the cab. So now we're gonna get into more of the Newmar stuff. So 
well, I guess we'll talk about this. That's your parking brake. So since we don't have a park gear, neutral, pull out on that and we're in park. So Numar does an awesome job by making these motorhomes very flexible. So this switch right here will actually dump all of the air out of my rear airbags. What that does is makes it easier to level out on a really sloped surface. Very, very, very nice. So next we have a light test switch. All that's gonna do is run through all the lights on the motorhome. And if one is out, if a light bulb is out, it's gonna tell us here on the dash. Now that light test is just for your exterior lights. Regeneration switch. If you ever wanted to do a manual regen, you hold that for five seconds. House and chassis battery boost. If one of our battery banks ever died, we could actually pull power from the other one to start the motor. Rear differential lock, get those wheels turning the same speed, gives you a little bit extra traction, very important, really you know slippery situations. Generator start and stop from the cab. Camera switch, we'll talk about that in a second. Shade up and down. Now that big panoramic window we were looking at up top by those cabinets, there is a pow power shade that'll bring that down. All right, cab ceiling lights, just kind of your map lights and then docking lights, which are your rearward facing lights to help you back up into a spot. This radio system here, we have AM, AM FM, Bluetooth, and Sirius XM. We also have navigation. Now this is nav and go. What's cool about that is we can set our parameters of our motorhome. This is a 40 foot, 11 inch motorhome. It's 13.6, 13 feet, six inches tall. 101.5 inches wide. We can set all of those parameters into this navigation system and it will not take us down a road that we won't be able to make it down. Now, this is also where we're gonna see our camera screens displayed. So if I put it into reverse, it's gonna bring up our backup camera. Notice we do have grid lines just to help assist. Now, if I turn on my left blinker, there's the left side of the motorhome. Now it's kind of unfortunate because I have slides out, so it's not really gonna help us here. But if that slide wasn't there, it would eliminate all blind spots. Same thing with the right side. And then let's go here, go to camera. Okay, so now we can look at all of our cameras as well. So left, rear, right, and then that 360 camera horizon so really easy um, really easy to use radio lots of features there um, when you come for your actual orientation when you come to pick up a motorhome at TransWest we give you a two-hour orientation where you walk through with one of our certified technicians and learn how to use all these systems on here um, I know we've covered a lot here but if you have any questions, please feel free to call me. Again, my name is Brian Moritz with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. My phone number is 303-482-6375. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next week.